The flickering neon sign buzzed softly in the drizzling rain, casting eerie shadows on the slick pavement. The time was nearing midnight, and the prestigious restaurant I worked at, Moe's Burger, stood alone on the dimly lit street. As I pulled the collar of my jacket tighter against the chill, I couldn't help but shiver, not from the cold, but from the gnawing sense of unease that had settled over me during my months of employment. Moe's Burger had been a symbol of elegance in our town for decades. Patrons came from all over, drawn by its delicious cuisine and impeccable service. I was hired as a waiter, a position coveted by many. However, it wasn't long before I realized that there was something deeply unsettling about this place. My first inkling of the restaurant's ominous aura came during my initial training. The manager, a gaunt man with sunken eyes named Mr. Hoshino, led me into the kitchen for a tour. The stainless steel countertops gleamed under the harsh fluorescent lights, but there was a coldness that pervaded the air like a ghostly presence lingering in the shadows. Mr. Hoshino, his voice a low whisper, warned me about the restaurant's history. Never enter the basement, no matter what you hear, he cautioned. And be careful when you're alone in the dining room after closing. The restaurant holds secrets, young one. I dismissed his words as superstitious nonsense, thinking he was just trying to scare the new guy. But as time passed, I couldn't deny the uneasiness that settled in my gut whenever I was in the restaurant, especially at night. One late evening, as the last diners left, I found myself alone in the dimly lit dining room. The soft hum of the ventilation system was the only sound in the room, but it was accompanied by a faint, distant whisper. I froze, my heart pounding in my chest. Hello, I called out, my voice trembling. No response. I scanned the empty restaurant, feeling a growing sense of dread. The whispering grew louder like a cacophony of voices just beyond my comprehension. It echoed through the room, bouncing off the walls. I hurriedly finished my tasks and fled the restaurant, convinced that it was just my imagination playing tricks on me. But that night, as I lay in bed, the whispers haunted my dreams, pulling me into a vortex of incomprehensible murmurs and shadows. The days turned into weeks, and the haunting atmosphere at Moe's Burger only intensified. One evening, as I was serving a group of well-dressed patrons, I noticed something odd about their behavior. They sat in silence, their eyes fixed on the walls as if they were entranced by some invisible force. Is everything all right? I ask, my voice quivering. One of the patrons, a middle-aged woman with hollow eyes, turned to me and said in a monotone voice, We come here to be close to them, the ones who linger in the walls. I didn't know what to make of her words, but they sent a shiver down my spine. It was as if the very walls of the restaurant held some dark secret, and the patrons had come to commune with it. As weeks turned into months, I began to notice other strange occurrences. The restaurant's decor, once elegant and inviting, began to deteriorate. Paint peeled from the walls, and the plush red carpet felt damp underfoot. The once pristine white tablecloths were stained with mysterious dark spots that refused to wash out. My co-workers, too, began to change. They became distant, their smiles forced, their eyes vacant. It was as if the oppressive atmosphere of Moe's Burger was slowly draining the life out of all who worked there. The turnover rate among employees skyrocketed, as many couldn't bear to stay for long. Desperation gnawed at me. 
I needed it a job, but the sense of impending doom that clung to Moe's burger like a suffocating fog was becoming unbearable. Still, I pressed on, determined to uncover the truth behind the restaurant's malevolent aura. One night, as I was cleaning the dining room after closing, I heard the whispers again. This time, they were clearer, like a chorus of mournful voices pleading for release. I followed the sound to a narrow hallway leading to the basement. The door was slightly ajar, and a dim light flickered from below. Despite Mr. Hoshino's warning, curiosity overwhelmed my fear. I descended the creaking staircase into the dimly lit basement. The air grew colder with each step, and the whispers grew louder, a cacophony of sorrow and despair. In the basement, I found rows of dusty, forgotten relics from Moe's Burger's past antique furniture, faded paintings, and old photographs. It was like a graveyard for the restaurant's history. At the far end of the room, I saw a peculiar painting. It depicted a grand banquet, with patrons and staff gathered around a long table, but their faces were distorted in anguish. As I approached the painting, the whispers crescendoed and I felt a presence behind me. I turned, my heart in my throat, to see Mr. Hoshino standing in the shadows. You should not have come here he said, his voice filled with sorrow. What is this place? I stammered. Mr. Hoshino's eyes were filled with regret. This is where the restaurant's dark secret is hidden. These are the souls of souls who once dined here, trapped in the walls, unable to find peace. I felt a cold sweat break out on my brow as I stared at the painting. The faces of the patrons and staff seemed to contort in agony, their eyes pleading for release. We serve them, Mr. Hoshino continued, his voice trembling. We serve their memories, their desires. They come here to relive their final moments to seek solace in the restaurant's past glory. I stumbled back, horror coursing through my veins. I had unwittingly become a part of this sinister ritual, serving the restless souls trapped within the restaurant's walls. With a sinking feeling, I realized that I would never escape Moe's Burger, that I too would become a ghostly figure in that dreadful painting forever yearning for release from the haunting ambience of the restaurant. I fled the basement, leaving Mr. Hoshino behind, his anguished words echoing in my ears. I never returned to Moe's Burger, but the memories of that place continued to haunt me, and I often heard the whispers in my dreams, reminding me of the souls that lingered in the walls. Years have passed, but the specter of Moe's Burger still lingers in my mind. I cannot forget the haunted restaurant, where the past and present merge in a nightmarish symphony of despair. I am left with a sense of dread, knowing that I, too, am bound to that place, my fate forever intertwined with the restless souls of Moe's Burger.